Um, yesterday, Akira was talking about something that you said years ago about if you cut somebody open, where are they? Where do you find the Where person? are they, right? Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, so I'm wondering, what is it that uh, in, enlivens the felt sense? What, what would you call that which looks through the eyes? Well, w when you're when you're do focusing, at first it's hard and it's messy and you don't. It's difficult, but then when it becomes familiar, then you often come to a place where before you were immersed in all these feelings and you were loaded down with them. And now they're over there, and you're over here, and you have a felt sense, but you aren't the felt sense. You have it. It's here. Oh, that's where it is. And that's what it is. You don't even know maybe yet what it is, but there it is. And you're here, and it's there. And then there's a big space that wasn't there before. And in that big space, this big problem doesn't look that big, even though it hasn't changed. It's just that there's a different space, and the felt sense is that, and the you has come into your own somehow. And that is the what's there, <laughs> the person there. So instead of answering the question, which I can't, of course, I'm making it more of a question. So it's like, well, that self, whatever that is, we really want to know about that, right? <laughs> whatever that is. Okay. She's making it quite clear that the relationship between the person, the one in there that's looking at you, the relationship between the person and all the rest of it, whatever it is, that relationship is totally puzzling, right? Isn't that what you're saying? Now say more. What do you think? Well, I just struggle with what to call that. Is it intelligence? Is it life itself? Oh, I you see. Know, yeah. No, no, no. Energy. Please don't call it anything. <laughs> <laughs> or else. No, that's a very large. I know it was funny, but that's a large point. Uh, the vocabulary as it is, the language as it is in public space, the ordinary language has in it the ordinary culture and the ordinary understandings. So whenever you get even a little bit of understanding beyond that, you can't use those words. You have to, if you're going to say intelligence, or if you're going to say whatever, you have to put an adjective in front of it at least. You have to have at least two words. Weird intelligence, funny intelligence, uh, uh, unique personal intelligence, uh, uh, XYZ intelligence, almost anything, you stick it in front of intelligence, and then, yes, you can say that. Why can you say it? Well, because anybody who hears it will say, what do you mean? <laughs> and you need that. If you're speaking about anything that isn't part of the public culture already, if it isn't totally familiar, and you want to name it, you need to name it with two words. You need to name it in such a way that a person who doesn't know what you're talking about will recognize that they don't know what you're talking about. And they will ask you, they'll say, well, what do you mean by that? And then you can explain it, you know, and you can say it's that, like you did here. Okay? So now back. I was just in an excursion about language. Why do you... Not, no, that's not the way. Let me turn around and say, now, since none of these words fit, because otherwise you wouldn't have asked me. So already you know they don't fit. So could you make up a kind of fresh, poetic, crazy sentence about what you do mean? 
Something here does something. I would say something like that which enlivens you. Enlivens you. Enlivening intelligence. Enlivening, yeah. You stick that word enliven in front of anything and it'll work. Enlivening understanding. Enlivening the assertion. You. Enlivening. You see, see, if you're going to say enlivening in front of some word, Anybody will say, what do you mean? And you need that. Yeah, but then I don't, <laughs> there's nothing to say after that. But, but why, why are you, what do you have there that I don't, haven't understood yet? You've got something there. Behind Try, the felt sense yeah, is yeah. something. Trying to explain what focusing is to somebody that is, you know, doesn't understand the, the origin. Well, to help them find focusing, you see how we do. Yeah. All these different yeah. ways we have. And you'll find yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some more still. But you're not trying to help them find it, you're explaining it mm -hmm. to them. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I, I'm with you. <laughs> Somebody that insists on an explanation, but yeah. I mean, well, you, uh, you would have, you would have I, I don't know, but as I imagine doing that, of course, I've done it not well, I don't think. But I've done it, I would first have to say, there is a way of experiencing which is kind of funny. It's most people don't know it. Because the first thing you're up against with intellectuals is that they don't want to believe that anybody can have an experience that they don't have. And so you have to remind them that great musicians can hear intonation in a way that most of us don't hear. Uh, we go to the concert hall is full, but there's only about ten people there who really hear what that artist is doing, and the rest of us just hear melodies and we go home. Uh, and they might say yes, or you might say, you know, when a when an ice skater can do these incredible, fantastic Olympic things, they're actually in a state that we don't normally can be in, or something. Uh, so, so that that's the first thing that you're up against. And then we could say, well, there are more ordinary funny states that you might not know, but it wouldn't take you that long to get. And this is one of them. And what is it like? Well, and then I would, then I would be able to say what I said to you, which is, well, all of a sudden this big space opens and the thing isn't really any different. That felt sense is right there, but it feels like this, you know, at, at first, when I first have the felt sense, it's this, Oh, you know, but at least I'm somewhat free. Oh, I'm here and it's there and that's the trouble. I don't know what it is, but there it is. <sighs> you know. And then usually the person says, oh, I know about that. That happens to me when... And that's then like you can tell that you haven't communicated. <laughs> <laughs>